Hey guys, I'm really excited because it's finally here. I finally got it. I finally arrived. Since I can't afford those fancy schmancy microphones that Lewis Rossman and Northridge Fix or, or Dave Jones or whatever have, I needed to settle on a cheaper alternative. This one cost me 50 bucks, actually 55. And you've probably seen these, or you've seen the uh, USB equivalent of them. I'll talk about those a little bit later. Portable digital microscope. Let's be done with the unboxing. And da -da 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 -da. this is the brains of the operation. And there it is. It's battery powered. It works very nicely. And, yes, I will assemble it here, live, on camera. Okay, so let's assemble it. This is the base. This. Okay. Let's see. This is the holder. But... How is it supposed to go? Like this? Or like this? Yeah, like this. Okay. Okay. This is dual tension based. So, oh. I'll readjust that. It has these two screws. You screw them to the base, okay. Man, I am clumsy. I'm really, really clumsy. The screw bit in. Where's the other one? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry if I'm breathing heavily. <laughs> is because I'm really excited. I'm really excited, I've waited for this one for a long time. I wanted to have this for a very long time. And I wanted to have an alternative to those expensive uh, binocular microscopes. Okay. Okay, nice. This is stand. Uh-huh, so you move it easily up and down. Okay. And this is the brains of the operation. Let me adjust the camera angle. Oh yeah, you have these screws on the side so it won't wobble left or right. Okay, I believe this is where you focus, right? Yes, yes it is. This is just a metal plate. Okay, I'm just gonna put my hand here. And yeah, these are my hairs. Okay, but you're not here to watch my hairy hands, right? You're here to see if this thing is any good. Let me put something you all know and love. This is an Arduino Nano. Check out my soldering iron. Check it out. How the component is small compared to the tip. But you can see everything. You can see traces. You can see everything here, man. I love it. Okay, so long story short, I used to have those USB types, you know. Uh, they're essentially the same, but they're USB powered. The only problem was that uh, the latency between the image capture or the mo and the motion was too large. As you can see, this thing is capturing it in real time. That's why I bought it. It claims that uh, it can zoom to up to a thousand times, but I don't think so. It, it, can, it can go up to 300 times or something. But look at the detail. Look at the levels of the detail. This is an Arduino Nano. This is a Raspberry Pi Pico. Check it out. Check out the size of those components. And for the sake of reference, check it out. 
this right here is a grain of wheat. Check out how those components are a lot smaller than a grain of wheat. That's why you do need a microscope. Now, one positive thing is that you can record video with it. And I'm really curious how that one goes. You do need a memory card for it, so I bought it. I bought a Kingston one. Now, I'm not clicking at the board because I'm a lunatic. I'm just trying to figure out how will I sync audio and video while recording on this memory card, because seriously. And it started recording. We will see the quality later. And um, yeah, let me sync the audio and video right now. Okay. So from now on, all video is being recorded on the microscope. This is the microscope view. I don't know the quality. It has a little too much light, if you ask me. I don't know how you set the light, let's see. There's probably a dial. Yeah, there is a dial. There is a dial. Okay, it looks much better now. There is a dial where you can set the lighting, which is good. Let's see how will, how will it fare in a real life repair job. Okay, I'm gonna be using the battery powered soldering iron I reviewed in the last video. So let's see. I'm gonna try to hit C14. I know C stands for capacitor, but the kit that I bought came just with resistors. So let's do it, let's, let's work on it. Let's melt this here, solder. Let's melt it. Let's bring the component in closer. Okay, okay, the component's stuck. Okay, this is too much solder. Pardon my bad technique right now. Seriously. I can't contain the excitement. Okay. Man, it's looking really crooked on, on the monitor. Okay. Man, it looks so awesome. Let me flip it. The control is so intuitive, so cool. And it's done. Okay, let's touch up the first part. Man, it's so intuitive, it's so easy to use. Man, man, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. Okay. Let me do another one. Let's see if this is just not my practice hands. I'm not looking through the camera now, I'm just looking through the microscope. My microscope, sorry, microscope. A microscopic monitor. Okay. Come on, come on, if this were a capacitor, it would have been dead. Okay, good. Good. Thank you. Let's touch up the other side. I overheated it a little bit, but that's my fault. I'm just not practiced enough. Man. Let's see if the sound can sync. Man. This was the image you got from the microscope itself. And I believe it looks great. Let me adjust the lighting. Wow. 
dude. Let let me just solder this one, just for me. Just for me, just for my soul. Because this is awesome. I I really wanted to have this. Let's see. I'm melting. I'm melting. I'm melting it. That's it. The other side. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. One, two, three, four. Done. It's looking great. One, two, three, four, boy. Done. Wow, and you can see the flux residues everywhere, man, and you can see all the imperfections I had while soldering this SO16 chip. It needed a reflow. Why? How come you... No, I just wanted to reflow it. Let's see again. Let's see it again. Man, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I am amazed with it. It is great. As you can see, you have a lot of space where you can work. You have a lot of workspace. I hope that the image it records turns out to be very well and very usable for YouTube. Man, for 50 bucks, you guys just can't go wrong. Again, I bought this with my own money. This is not a shill. This is not a sale. This is not a sponsored video. Check it out. This is a little Rossman's level of quality. This is a Raspberry Pi Pico. If you have no other alternative, and you have not, <laughs> barely anything to work with, and you want to do repair, micro soldering, or whatever it is, seriously, consider getting this. Check it out. Man. And for micro soldering, I'm going to be using this soldering iron, the, the battery powered one I demonstrated in the last video. I really, really like it, and until I can get a proper micro soldering station, since I don't have 200 bucks to spend on it, I'm gonna be using this one. I'm gonna be making content with this one until I can afford anything usable and serviceable. Thank you for being with me on this journey, and. I hope I can upload more frequently and I hope that at one point I can start making some money off YouTube so it won't be just a hobby because my current job is almost not going to be able to cut in all the bills. Seriously. AliExpress, 55 bucks. Get it. You won't regret it. It is awesome. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. And have a wonderful day.